Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a full review of the Samsung Galaxy E5. Now this smartphone is the, uh, you know, you can say a little brother of the Galaxy E7, but still not that much of a little brother, uh, just a screen difference to be honest, uh, and of course camera and the battery, so not that much of a big difference anyway. So um, I'll do another video about the Galaxy E7, you can check out my channel, and uh, so let's quickly start off with its uh, build quality and its um, first impression. So it is a lighter device, of course, and it is uh, absolutely for those people uh, who have, uh, you know, smaller hands or those people who prefer uh, small screen phones over uh, the, uh, you know, bigger screen phones. So Galaxy E5 is definitely for those people. So 5 inch screen is basically. Uh, you know, there was a time when 5-inch screen was a little bit, uh, you know, people said that 5-inch screen is a little bit bigger and all that crap. But now, 5-inch is like a normal screen. But actually, it, it feels that 5-inch is a little bit smaller because um, I've been using Note 4, Nexus 6 and phones like that. You know, bigger, bigger phones, Nexus 6, 6-inch 6 display. So, these devices look so really small to me. But anyways... I do have big hands, so that might be the case, but if you have small hands, then this device will going to fit very, very uh, greatly in your hand. So, anyways, we have the um, premium build, you can say, at a minimum on the back, which is which feels really great, but on the side we have plastic, so, they, it's, so this Galaxy E-series smartphone, Galaxy E-series smartphones, E5 and the E7, they're basically not, uh, you know, all premium metallic phones like Galaxy A series are. We don't have the plastic uh, metallic band, instead we have the plastic and then also uh, only the back is made up of aluminum so they are just half premium, uh, so they're not full premium. So um, if we talk about uh, its um, overall uh, placement of the components, you can see the camera and uh, camera is a little bit popped out like other phones, like other Galaxy uh, A-series and E-series smartphones, uh, no difference there. Then you can also see the flash on the left and the speaker on the right, and then also Samsung logo and duos, which means that this is a dual SIM, like this, and then also we have the SD card slot for expanding the storage, and uh, you can also see that the power key is placed on the right side, and a little bit lower so that you can easily reach it and then also on this side we have the volume rocker which is also at the at about the same point at the power button and then also you can see we have a 5 megapixel phone racing camera and an 8 megapixel back camera which is equal to the 8 megapixel on the Galaxy A5 uh, probably going to expect the same kind of quality uh, as the Galaxy A5 and the A3 so you can see that it is overall a well-built device and uh, due to this plastic on the side the price is definitely um, you know not that higher as compared to other phones so it has uh, it is coming at the price point of thirty two thousand five hundred which is almost three twenty dollars and of course outside of Pakistan it, it might be available for almost three hundred dollars or maybe less than three hundred dollars I'm not uh, sure about outside price but in Pakistan you get it about uh, at a point of thirty two thousand and 500. So, if we talk about its um, slimness or thickness, whatever you want to call it, it's 7.3 millimeter thick, which is really, really slim, by the way. Uh, it is just like the Galaxy E7. E7 is bigger, but there is also 7.3 um, millimeter um, thick, so it is very light. Uh, so, uh, moving down to the screen, yes, this screen is a 5 inch screen that I talked about. Uh, so, it is a 720p. HD resolution, uh, so definitely it is not the best resolution out there, but still it is really great for most of the people because a lot of people out there don't care about the screen um, resolution because 720p is definitely not bad, it is really great, you can see all the text clearly, no problem whatsoever, and uh, that's what most people you know think, they want battery life, so Samsung has made this as a battery life phone, the 720p screen with 5 inch uh, size and uh, almost 294 ppi, cl close to 300 ppi this is going to eat less battery so you will get more battery, you can listen to more music 
that is really great. Uh, so definitely you're going to get more battery out of your phone. And uh, yes, that's about it. That is the uh, best uh, thing about the 720p displays nowadays. You know, phones coming with 720p displays will always going to have better battery as compared to the 1080p display phones uh, in their you know respective range so uh, if I talk about its um, internals it is coming with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 chipset which is basically a quad-core chipset with 1.2 gigahertz processor it is not that much of a powerful chipset if you ask me it is not as powerful as Snapdragon 800 or 801 or uh, Snapdragon 615 but it is well optimized for daily day-to-day -day real life usage. You can see it is really fast and you can just uh, you know open up any app with this just instant instantly and you can see the home button is really really responsive. This is just a slap to those people who think that Samsung is um, you know has a touch with laggy and all that kind of stuff. So uh, this is just a trailer of what we are going to see inside of Galaxy S6, you know, the speed. So you can see that it is really responsive. You're not going to see any kind of lag whatsoever. So uh, the best thing about the Snapdragon 410 is that it is 64-bit, it is well optimized, and it has speed equal to most of the top phones, including the iPhone 6 that I'm going to compare with very soon, so be sure to subscribe. So you can see it is very fast, no problem whatsoever. Uh, so let's moving down to the software size. This comes with the Android version 4.4.4 KitKat Yes, this is the software version we have. We don't have the Lollipop. I'm not sure what will be the exact date for the Lollipop, but definitely have one thing for sure that they will going to update it, uh, a Galaxy E5 to the Lollipop and the Galaxy A series. So you can see this is how the home screen looks like. You can just scroll infinitely to the sides, and then you can also hold down the screen. Uh, you get these four options. This is a theme option that is new in this Galaxy A and E series smartphones. We have this um, five themes. You can any you can select any theme, you can just apply it and uh, this works really fine. Now you can see the icons are changed and the notification area is basically same uh, but still icons are uh, a little bit changed. So you can also hold down the screen, you can also check out the home screen settings, you can add some widgets then you can change the wallpapers if you want to. From here, you can access the gallery. You can add any wallpaper from gallery. Uh, that works really great. Um, also, if you see here, we have this uh, delete or remove button. You can remove the uh, extra home screen. You can also add extra home screen if you want to. Now, if I go into app drawer, we have this cool button here. Here, you can edit the apps. You can just quickly uh, put any app uh, on the home screen or you can uninstall an app, you can go into app info, you can create a folder, create a page and also if you, um, you can also hide apps, you can uninstall or disable apps, you can create a folder from here, you can check out the help if you don't know what you are doing <laughs> and then you can also put any app into the home screen uh, by just you know dragging the app, selecting and dragging the app anywhere you want to, so that works really fine. It also comes with its default My Files uh, file manager, which is really great. I'm going to show you your, um, you know, uh, memory. You can say so. Uh, you can see that this comes with a 16 gigabyte of internal memory. If I can just show you that. Before that, I'm going to show you the notification area. This is how the, uh, you can say, quick setting looks like. You can disable or enable any option if you want to. That works really fine really fast you can also edit the quick settings then also in the top side top left side you can see the time and the date and the day so if you go here into setting on the power saving menu you can see the all the power saving mode which is really great one of the must have features on Samsung devices Samsung has included on its uh, these phones here so uh, if you check out the security yes the same kind of options there not anything new and it's also the same kind of options. You can see the setting is a little bit more cleaner, more whitish look and all that. And also, yeah, nothing that much interesting. Blocking mode there, private mode there, that is really great. So if I move down here in default applications, so this is really 
um, well uh, put in the down below in the settings is that you can just clear any default application that you have because most people have problem uh, when they set a application as a default so that is a great option there by Samsung uh, if I go here to the, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, SIM card manager, this is going to allow you to manage two SIMs here. This also works really fine. So you can see that overall, this is really great software, Android 4.4 KitKat optimized well. You, you won't gonna see any kind of bug or any kind of lag whatsoever. So let's check out the storage here we have the storage option and you can see we have almost of uh, 16 gigabyte of internal memory but available is less which is I think 11.29 yes almost 11.50 uh, not even 12 gigabytes so that's what software has taken and uh, if I talk about its RAM yes the RAM if I click this button you can see that we have this dedicated button here to close everything in the background uh, or uh, you can just swipe it left or right to close it and you can also if you press this button here this is going to show you your RAM manager or task manager like we have on the windows so basically you can just kill apps here that are active you can see 1.5 gigabyte of RAM so 1.35 gigabyte is basically the actual amount of storage that you are going to get uh, with this 1.5 gigabyte label so it is not that much of RAM if we talk about the Android usage but it's definitely not that much less so you will enjoy and uh, the GPU inside of this device is at Reno 306 definitely a crappy failure GPU to be honest in terms of gaming um, I've done a gaming test you can check out my channel uh, so I will upload it very soon that gaming test but anyways uh, not that much bad as compared to 3D Perform but GTA games are really really uh, looks crappy on the GPU uh, but anyways uh, so overall it is very well optimized and if I talk about its um, camera yes it is 8 megapixel camera on the back let's just launch the camera app here so this is 8 megapixel camera you can just touch to focus anywhere you want to you can also turn on the flash and by default it is set to 6 megapixel I don't know why you can just turn it on the 8 megapixel to have full advantage of the camera capabilities you can also uh, check out these modes here uh, you can also quickly record HD video uh, if I go here into main settings I have uh, quite a few settings here I can just change the video mode from 1080p to 720p to 480p or to limit for MMS and then also if I switch to the front facing camera now the front facing camera is good uh, you can take palm selfie by showing your palm to your uh, device like you can see now it's working fine it works really fine and, and this device won't gonna disappoint you in front of your friends when you you know try to say say like first let me take a selfie and then you just hold your phone like this and you just show the hand uh, to the phone it is definitely going to take a selfie it's definitely not going to disappoint you by any means so if you click on this setting icon you can also check out these options if you're interesting and just like that we have um, 3.7 megapixel as default so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it to the 5 megapixel so that is the full resolution uh, that you need so you can see that it also works accidentally there like it did uh, so you can also record a full 1080p HD video using this front facing camera just like that you can go into main settings and then you can also record a 1080p video that is one of the best thing about this device so let's move out so I will be doing a uh, quick or you can say specific camera test uh, really soon so be sure to stay tuned and uh, as far as the battery is concerned that this device comes with a 2400 milliampere battery which is basically a more than the Nexus 5 uh, if you know about Nexus 5, Nexus 5 is a device that was introduced like in 2014 maybe yeah 2014 yes and I use Nexus 5 for uh, as my personal phone for about like three months now I basically use the S5 
but I used the Nexus 5 for uh, two or three months and I was quite satisfied with its performance but not battery wise so Nexus 5 comes with a 2003 nm bar battery while well, this one here comes with a 2004 nm bar battery on a 720p display so we're definitely going to get a good battery you can see uh, the battery has dropped to 49% I think that the, when I started the review it was like about 51% maybe so you can just rewind back to the video you can check that out um, the depletion and all that so uh, definitely uh, this is my full review for the Galaxy E5 if you enjoyed this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up and it really do helps me out a lot and if I miss anything if you want to know some specific things if you want me to do some videos for you guys uh, then do let me know in the comment section down below or you can message me on Facebook you can follow me on Instagram just check out the links down below and I will see you in my next one